Good day. Welcome to Partaker's Think Spot at the start of a new week on Monday the 25th of July 2011. God's love in the Bible is seen as unfailing, everlasting, intimate, sacrificial, unbreakable or conquering, personal, great, immeasurable and all-knowing. This is seen supremely in the cross of Jesus Christ when he died for the sins of the world. Supreme love, overcoming all that is not love. Even when great acts of evil are committed in the world, such as the slaughter of innocents in Oslo, Norway this past week, love is all around. Love continues despite such despicable acts. How are Christians to respond to this love of God? The Apostle John writes in 1 John 4, verse 15 to 16, If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. Our motivation as Christians is to love and to be love. This is a love which is sacrificial and selfless. It is a tough love which is of service to other people. Loving and serving others are the primary ways of showing that you love God. It is easiest to love your friends. But Jesus Christ commanded that his followers also love their enemies. Now that's a very radical and it can be very difficult. We see constantly in the media and elsewhere that regards our enemies we are to be confrontational or at the very best to just ignore them. How is it possible to love enemies? It is only with the help of God and his abundant grace towards us. We depend on the Holy Spirit who lives inside all Christians to empower and guide. To only love those who love you is what is expected by people everywhere as normal behavior. But as a Christian, you are to do more. You are to be seen to love more than other people. You don't have to like others as friends, but you do have to love them as fellow human beings. Go into this week being prepared to show your love of Jesus Christ, remaining close to him, and serving other people generously with abundant, grace-filled love. By loving and serving others, you become God's arms and legs in a physical world. One of the greatest limitations you face in loving and serving other people is a severe lack of imagination. So as you go into this week, ask God to expand your imagination to love and to serve, as well as asking for the opportunities to do them. Loving and serving are hallmarks of an authentic Christian life. Love continues even amidst chaos and turmoil all around. Go and be part of that continuation of love. Thank you.